During your childhood, uh, who was your main inspiration from uh, the wrestling world? From the wrestling world, there was a lot of different guys that I liked certain aspects of them. Mm -hmm. um, I liked Hulk Hogan, example, for his charisma and for his uh, the way the crowd would react just when the music starts. I, I enjoyed um, Rey Mysterio Jr. Mm -hmm. being a, a small, I think he's 5'6", if I'm not mistaken, but being able to get in a world of giants uh, and being able to overcome some of these giants with mm -hmm. his spectacular high-flying moves. Uh, another wrestler that I, I really looked up to when I started doing the hardcore matches was uh, Mick Foley. Seeing him as mankind, uh, he wrestled The Undertaker in a cage where he fell through the cage on the thumbtacks. The impact, uh, I guess his teeth banged together. One of his teeth came out through his nose mm -hmm. and he I was concussed. He had a concussion. He mm -hmm. was winded, but he continued because of his sheer instincts to entertain and, you know, the, the saying, the show must go on. My true main inspiration, uh -huh. where I got, where I started with my character, uh, would have to be the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. Um, I watched him wrestle, and I saw all the girls in the crowd yelling, cheering for him, and I looked at that and I said, wow, I, I, I didn't have a girlfriend at the time. Uh -huh. So I said, I want to have the girls cheer for me. So I kind of based it a little bit from Shawn Michaels, being the sexy, flamboyant character, uh, having a lot of energy, uh, and then I, as I developed my own character, mm -hmm. I branched off. But he's a true inspiration, and I think a lot of wrestlers uh, in the independent and professional him. world, yes, they look up to Shawn Michaels as one of the best. <laughs> Do you have any other interests that you hold close to your heart next to wrestling? Um, yeah, two, two other passions of mine. Mm -hmm. uh, food and women. I have to be <laughs> honest. I love to eat and I love my women, uh, which is a great chance. Uh -huh. When I get to visit new states, new countries, I get to meet new fans, new people, and new women. Uh -huh. Family is important. Uh, having uh, um, my parents, uh, since I was young, encouraged me in whatever mm -hmm. I did. Playing sports, uh, going through um, soccer, swimming, re uh, wrestling, Olympic style wrestling, football, and rugby. Mm -hmm. And now to finally to try all these different sports and finally find something that... Um, suits me the best in professional wrestling. Um, having my brother, uh, my brother John was one of our first cameramen oh. when we started doing shows okay. uh, and he loved it. Again, everyone has different interests and then he became yeah. a musician more uh -huh. so he had his own but we're both in the field of entertainment. Uh, having my sister come to some of the shows who was in a wheelchair at the time, yeah. she passed away three years ago. Mm -hmm. um, we're sorry to hear that. No, oh, thank you very much. Uh, but she liked watching, uh, she, she wasn't a fan of wrestling, mm -hmm. but she was a fan of me doing wrestling. Whatever we would do, she was a fan of. So it was uh, my sister Alexandra got to see me at least live at a few shows, which I'm very happy for that. We're happy to hear that too. Speaking of the movie business. Yeah. Are you willing to become a professional actor and consider a movie proposal? I like to branch out as long as I'm entertaining people, uh -huh. uh, wrestling fans, and women out there, uh, then I'm doing my job. Movies is the natural succession for Sex Yeti. Uh, being in front of a camera is what I love to do. I love to perform. Uh -huh. um, I've already worked on a couple a TV show for kids. Okay called Prank Patrol, uh -huh. uh, and that was a great experience. I learned a lot uh, about myself and a little bit behind the scenes how it works. The, the amount of, of work put in to one episode, uh, and I got the chance to work with a, with a boy, 11-year-old boy. We mm -hmm. did a two-minute wrestling match. Oh. Uh, so I'm taking someone that has no wrestling experience, and I have to do something safe 
uh, that looks realistic. So what that show was all about, it was tricking his cousin that he is beating up this big bully. So it came out great. Uh, movies, like TV, they're, they're similar, but they're so different. Uh, mm -hmm. you're, you're on a set maybe for months. Some, some actors are there maybe for a year even, yes. depending on the research needed for the roles. Mm -hmm. um, so again, it's another life experience that um, I would love to... Are you willing to take that challenge? Oh, I'm always up for any challenge. <laughs> Bring it on. Bring it on. So it's easy for you to just grab on to that particular uh, chance and you just give it to the uh, to the viewers isn't that it yeah you, so need you to, deliver it's you need to adapt you need, a, too yeah you take what's given to you and you use it to your fullest um, it's also I've also learned in the wrestling business that um, people always say cover your weaknesses or work on them but you have to show the crowd your strengths okay so that's this very important so like one thing that I realized through wrestling was not a lot of people were acting a lot mm -hmm. of people were more doing wrestling moves and I said, you know what, the same reaction I can get from doing a big backflip off the top rope, mm -hmm. maybe hurting myself, is the same reaction, if not louder, when I grab my pants for my routine, I take a girl from the crowd, I do a little sexy dance, I mm -hmm. grab my pants and I rip them off. Yeah. The reaction that I get there, and I know that I could do that every night of the year and mm -hmm. not get injured. Yes. But when guys start climbing on the top ropes and jumping to the floor through tables and chairs, you cannot do that every night. Your body cannot take it. Take it. Mm -hmm. um, there's one guy You're that I know, human. a personal friend of mine who was in uh, the movie The Wrestler, actually, Necro Butcher. Uh -huh. He's the one guy that I know that can do this every night and um, have a couple beers and then still be fine. Which uh, he's an amazing individual and. Um, my hats off goes to the necro butcher Dylan Summers because uh, he's one uh, one athlete and he got to work with Mickey Rourke uh, on the movie The Wrestler, which not only it helped um, wrestling fans went to go see this, but also mm -hmm. people that didn't know about wrestling uh, that heard about it on the Oscars yeah. got to see uh, a glimpse of what it's like to be uh, a wrestler, an independent wrestler. Now, independent wrestler is when they're not successful yet. You're either doing smaller shows or you're on TV mm -hmm. making a living. It's hard to get to that point. Yeah. So it showed a little glimpse of the darker, the grittier side of, uh, of professional wrestling and I think it was very realistic and um, it's, it was important. I think it was important to have that story told uh, and to the fans and I'm glad that a lot mm -hmm. of people went out to see the movie and learn about uh, this crazy world of professional wrestling. Hip toss. Oh, Eddie Lyon. Once again, oh, Super Lex reverse. 